Hello gamers! Welcome back to another Swiss 001 video. And today, I'm going to do something special. I finally got my hands on a 737 Max for X-Plane. Disclaimer! Yeah guys, I did quite a big oopsie in this one. <laughs> so there's a problem with the 737 Max version that I got. Some time ago, the Ultimate Team, which is a developer team, started beta testing this 737 Max on X-Plane. That started around a year ago go or something and someone managed to get their hands on it on the private beta it's, it's not public he did some modifications to it and is now publishing the plane giving himself credit basically i recorded this video yesterday so i was casually on my discord server and someone in vc told me that they got their hands on a 737 max and just sent me the max over and i was so hyped that i immediately did a video about it and yeah now i found out about it which is way too late i've already recorded everything Everything and have even edited halfway through so there's basically no way I can drop this right now That's basically the problem with doing daily videos and going to school as well So yeah, I highly highly apologize to the ultimate team for using this pirated version of the 737 max You should really not download this Walter white version. Yeah, they call it Walter white version and we are at Area 51. You know what that means. Time for some aircraft testing. Very nice. The alien tower is also here, ready to accept this 737 MAX in X-Plane. So yeah, this plane is in an early beta version, actually, which is why it's very unstable. So it's, uh, it's not really worth it to actually fly with this. Yeah, that's very realistic, because it doesn't fly in real life either. Also, look at those taxiway signs, they're kind of broken here. Anyway, we are in a 737 MAX and that's all what counts, isn't it? So basically what this plane is, it's basically a 737 and we we got a space shuttle reporting here. It's basically a modified Zeebo 737-800. So as you can see already, we have the new winglets, sharklets design, I don't know, that you can also find on the NG, new generation sometimes, especially on 2E Fly, for example. And the first thing that you'll notice is that the engine is way, way thicker, look at that. Also, there's this blue part that is not there on the NG. Also, we have this part that is not present on the NG, on the new generation, and we have MCAS. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, today we're not gonna just make fun of the 737 MAX. We're actually gonna question its, uh, its existence. Is there really a need for a 737 MAX? So yeah, again, its main differences to the 737 is a uh, thicker engine, totally more efficient as well. So we can also see we have this wave design on the engines, which by the way makes the engine quieter. We can also see that on the 747-800, I mean 8. The other major differences are in the cockpit. Obviously, as you can see, we have thicker screens and very excited ones as well. Yeah, this is probably because of the beta. We also have some changes that you'll only notice if you are kind of regularly flying the 737. For example, the auto brakes are not here. They moved them here for some reason. And we have some other differences like the idle switches are now switches and not levers, which is another difference. But, you know, you can still totally tell that it's the 737, especially the overhead panel stayed pretty much the same. And that's basically it with the differences you know the cabins kind of look the same obviously it, de it depends on the airline and we still have the gpu connected let's uh disconnect that one well as you can see the primary flight display and the instrument panels kind of changed as well uh they're just bigger at this point like they, they don't even show that much more information but they definitely look more modern and yes this is from an earlier beta and in the newer ones cockpit also improved but let's just go ahead and take off without any failure of MCAT, right pro pilots so let's go ahead and take off so the first thing that i noticed is that it obviously it sounds different duh different engines and uh dead engines as well rip they are more silent actually they are you can kind of hear it beautiful Right, this was a successful takeoff on the 737 MAX. And so far, I think, you know, the 737 MAX is really not bad. It's, it's, a, it's a nice plane, I guess. What I actually wanted to compare, though, was the size to an 800. I mean, like, isn't it quite the main feature of it? I mean, that's basically why it's called MAX, right? So, yeah, we were lucky enough to find another 737-800 on the tarmac. 
So yeah, as you can tell, the engines are slightly bigger. Also, the rims are way thicker. Can you see that? We might have also damaged some wing parts. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's bad. But it didn't really grow in size. Yeah, this is the Max 8. One of the smaller models of the new Max series, I guess. There's also a Max 10, which will obviously be much bigger. But you know, so far, I think there's a point of the 737 existing. You know, it has a better reach. So Reiner can fly over the Atlantic with this thing, even though I don't really want that. We have nice, new, thick, quiet engines so that you don't kill everyone with sound. I don't know. And obviously, it's more fuel efficient, which is very important because obviously that's more economical and also can make airline prices cheaper by saving fuel costs. But right now, I don't think airlines are making money with the Max because it's uh, grounded. <laughs> Uh, but that's another story. Also, the regular 737 MAX pilots are type rated for the 737-800 or generally for the NG generation. So yeah, luckily they can continue feeding their families, which is always a good thing. All right, let's butterize at San Francisco in this Air Canada plane. We're gonna do a regular Air Canada landing. Boom. By the way, if you don't get this reference, you are uncultured. There we go. That was beautiful. Oh. Yeah, this is what basically happens all the time with this beta. It just keeps crashing all the time. Now, we are at St. Bartholomew Island Airport. Let's go ahead and take off. But with flaps, maybe. Right, full power. Yeah, this thing accelerates pretty fast. This thing is able to take off from here. So here we got the old 737, also the Zebo version. You know, if you don't have the Zebo version already, you should totally get it. It's so worth it. It's also free. Yeah, obviously the screens are not as thick. Okay, let's go ahead and take off and see if that works this time around. What I can immediately tell is that the engines are actually louder. Yep, that still worked. That was nice. So yeah, guys, let's answer the final question. Do we really need the 737 Max? And I'd say yes. Is that is that detailed enough? So yeah, I'm very excited for the 737 Max coming out for X-Plane. Also, I'm doing a barrel roll. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.